Today we took a road trip to North Shore, where we stopped at Green World Coffee Farm. They grow their own coffee bean trees and make fresh coffee. However, the coffee beans themselves don't taste that great. We're in the jungle! And that's where we go next, another epic botanical garden, which has a pretty awesome waterfall. North Shore is notorious for its massive waves during the winter time, so of course we had to check that out. We're Danny and Nikki and five months ago we sold most of what we had, road trip from Florida to LA, and moved to Hawaii. Yes, we are that impulsive. We are exploring everything Hawaii has to offer in the weekends. Follow our journey wherever we are, which right now will be in Hawaii. And you know what to do, subscribe to our channel and like this video. And we start our morning to coffee always, and that's what we're gonna do today as well. So we got iced coffee, which they roast their own beans here. So that's really cool. So we have fresh iced coffee and we have a lilikoi pastry, which is apparently something passion fruit. But lilikoi is a flavor that you see everywhere in Hawaii. Ooh, very sweet. Look at some almondy texture with passion fruit. <laughs> Save me some. I like it. It's very strong. <laughs> Lots of caffeine in here. It's good though. It's winter in Hawaii now. I'm not gonna say it's cold, but it's kind of chilly. We are used to warm weather though, so yeah. don't blame us. Don't yeah, judge us. There's, there's people in like Canada right now laughing at us. <laughs> yeah. But we do see Hawaiians with winter coats. Yeah. So. So we're gonna see if we can get a tour here of the coffee farm and then we'll show you around. It takes three to five years for the trees to grow. Seven months to grow a ripe coffee bean to get to that red color. And they handpick them themselves. These are the coffee bean trees you see here. So I have a ripe coffee bean in my hand and we're gonna shoot the coffee beans out and then we're gonna taste them. The lady said they're very bitter, but you can't eat them like that. So we're gonna try. I know if I'm supposed to bite it. <laughs> nope. Maybe I should bite it. <laughs> I wanted to spit it out. <laughs> Told you not to do that. But how can you finish the... <laughs> you're supposed to spit it, suck on it and spit it out, baby. <laughs> oh, I see. You're not supposed to eat it. Oh. So we're gonna try this again and I'm gonna yeah. see what's up. It's not what you would expect when you put a coffee bean in your mouth. No. <laughs> Very uh, sweet. It's a good line. <laughs> Once you got the coffee beans out, they still use this shell and they make tea from it. And when they're done with that, they just throw it on the floor and put it back to the soil. But would that be sustainable farming? Probably. I like it. I feel like it resembles green tea. <laughs> I was expecting it to be hot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're only planning on stopping here for like 10 minutes and we spent at least an hour and a half here. Definitely some place that you should put on your list if you're trying to get to the North Shore. Or if you're a coffee lover like we are. All right guys, today we're in the Waimea Valley. It's known as the Valley of the Priest and it's gonna take us to an amazing waterfall. Let's go. Look how big these leaves are compared to my head. <laughs>
one now. We really like botanical gardens. We have another video where we went to, I guess, a more popular one, the Ho'omaruhia. I feel like this one is a bit more lush than the other one. It's more jungly. But also a little bit more touristy, right? Yes. We see tour buses here. The other one was a bit more local. A bit more local, yeah. yeah. These are traditional Hawaiian homes for high-ranking chiefs or priests. Each house represents one room, which makes this site one large living site. So you have lots of little paths, which we think is cool. Be out of breath because it's uphill. We still have not seen the waterfall. It's because we've only went like <laughs> 100 yards. Yeah. Just keep stopping at all keep these stopping. little... So we're lucky today because there's a lot of water flow as you can see behind me but there are times when there's just a little trickle so it's probably better to be here at rain season which is in the winter months. Cool! We've found a road that's uh, kind of higher up than the main trail. Yes. And we decided to walk there because we're a bit antisocial. And we like to walk alone and be the only ones. If you come here, there is an alternative route and you can walk all alone in peace. We had to come here and see the Banzai pipeline. Banzai? Banzai. I don't know. Not sure it's the letters. pipeline here in North Shore and it's notorious for its high waves. A lot of surfers come here. We had to see it for our own eyes or for ourselves. So we see some high waves, but I know that they can be higher. So we'll be back in like January or February ish. I'm not getting out. I am not getting out. Yeah. So we are afraid of this peacock that's circling around a car because it can be aggressive or territorial. So, well, how are we gonna get out then? Go to the truck. Maybe you should try it. Well, then it's gonna attack me. <laughs> it doesn't look aggressive. Try it out. 